What's going on guys, welcome back to Ocoin Chief where we talk about crypto and blockchain. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss any crypto content for this upcoming bull run. Today we are focusing on GMX and version 2 of GMX to be precise. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use GMX v2 and how to trade on GMX. So if you go to gmx.io you will be greeted with the protocol overview and some numbers. If you want to trade on GMX I do recommend you use the link in the description to get a big discount on your trading fees on GMX. These trading fees can be a bit of a pain sometimes so getting that discount is crucial. So once you've used the link in the description you can go to the launch app button and agree to some T's and C's. In here you automatically be going to v2 as you can see there's a toggle to go between v1 and v2 and version 2 of gmx gives you many other trading pairs as opposed to version 1 so on the top left uh, you can choose between ethereum bitcoin arbitrum link solana uni doge xrp and litecoin i do think the pairs are going to be increasing in the future so be on the lookout on how many trading pairs there are and how many there could be in the future as well so if you want to trade bitcoin on gmx in a decentralized way let's say you choose that particular pair right now on the right side you can choose which collateral you want to use for the purpose of this video we are going to be using weth but you can be using uh, a stable coin as well like USDC, Tether, DAI, or anything else. So right now we are going to be paying 0.1 ETH, which equals to around $160. And we are going to be shorting Bitcoin from current prices. So once you've input how much collateral you want to use, uh, there is a leverage slider and you can use up to 50x leverage uh, to make a move on that particular pair. So for the purpose of this video, we are going to be going 10x uh, when it comes to shorting Bitcoin. And underneath that, you have some uh, information about the fees, uh, the liquidity price, acceptable price as well, uh, price impact of your position and entry price as well. So once you're happy with those, uh, you can go ahead and click short BTC. And now you have a pop-up window which allows you to uh, approve that particular transaction when it comes to WETH. In our case, go ahead and approve. That has been submitted and it shouldn't take more than 20 seconds. As you can see, it's already been accepted. And now we can go ahead and confirm our position. So go ahead and confirm. And right now we have made a trade on Bitcoin. If we move to the 15 minute chart, you can also choose between different lengths uh, when it comes to daily charts, four hour, one hour, 15 minute, five and one. And also there's a little pop-up window here that allows you to add certain time frames to your favorites. You can also use some indicators uh, that are built in on GMX. It allows you to add Bollinger Bands and other things as well. Anything that you have in your strategy, uh, you can pretty much add in here to allow you to, to see that particular chart that you're looking at. Uh, so to sum up, we have a position open on the bottom left. It allows us to see exactly the PNL. So we are currently in a loss of $1. Uh, and here is basically where you would see what your position is earning or losing. Uh, we have the size, we have the collateral, we can adjust that collateral at any moment as well. Uh, we can also close the position very easily by choosing close, um, max and setting our price on the market or at a trigger. Setting a close of a position at a trigger means that we can make um, an order right now, let's say, Bitcoin drops to 27,200 uh, and then we'll create that trigger 
go ahead and confirm. And now we have a trigger order for our short position to close once that um, price comes in. So you don't need to be sitting around waiting for your prices to trigger. You can set that on GMX. And as you can see, that would automatically do it by itself. And when it comes to longing, it's exactly the same. So you input how much um, collateral you want to use, what the price is, and you can go ahead and make that order, make that trade directly from your MetaMask wallet. It is important that GMX is a decentralized futures exchange. It allows you to hold your own keys. It allows you to not use any centralized parties. So you have control over your funds at all times. And that is very important, especially going into the next bull run. The next bull run, in my opinion, will have a lot of collateral, a lot of capital going into DEXs, decentralized exchanges, and GMX will benefit from that, I think. Uh, it's one of the platforms that keeps building, keeps delivering, and people are using GMX all the time. So if you want to play around with GMX, make sure you use that link in the description to get that fee discount. And also let me know what features you would want to see added to GMX in the near future as well. What would really improve platforms like GMX? Let me know in the comments section below because these guys are adding more features all the time. So seeing the development, I do think there's going to be a time where centralized exchanges are going to be sidelined and capital will flow into uh, the likes of GMX and other platforms as well. This has been a tutorial on how to use GMX version 2 to trade Bitcoin, Ethereum and other crypto assets. This is it for today. I'll see you in the next one.